After 15 years in video and running my own channel, I've tested an almost ridiculous number of tools trying to speed things up. Lately, AI tools have truly become the game changers, and today I want to walk you through seven that I actually use regularly. More important, I'll show you exactly how they fit into a real creator workflow and where Vizard comes in when you want to scale repurposing long videos into short, shareable clips. Think of this as a creator's cheat sheet for tools that help with clipping, voices, ideas, audio cleanup, and then how to tie it all together so you can post consistently without burning out. First up is Ope's Clip. If you have a long YouTube video or any kind of long form recording, Ope's Clip will chew through it and spit out a bunch of short format clips automatically. It builds clips from the transcript, gives you different lengths, and even ranks each clip with a score for hook strength, flow, and trend potential. That alone is huge when you need a handful of short videos from an hour long stream. It also has features to auto-generate AI bumpers and captions, and some avatar style options you can tweak. Why I like it, it's fast and does a solid first pass. Why it's not the entire answer, sometimes the best bite isn't obvious to an algorithm that only looks at raw transcript cues. You'll get a lot of usable clips, but you may need to tweak framing, trim for context, or rescore the clip for your audience. This is where Vizard becomes useful. Vizard's auto-editing is tuned to surface viral parts, not just transcript hotspots, and it packages them as ready-to-post verticals. Plus, while Ope's clip is great at making clips, Vizard ties those clips to a content calendar and can auto-schedule them so you actually get the reach without manually uploading every single short. <laughs> Next is Descript. I've used Descript a long time. It basically made non-editors feel like editors. Upload audio or video, it transcribes automatically, and you literally edit words to edit the timeline. Want to remove a ramble, a retake, or a filler word parade? Delete the text and the audio video follows. Their AI suite can remove ums, tighten pauses, and even do a clean virtual green screen replacement. For talking head edits and podcast workflows, this is gold. Downside? It can get pricey if you need the full AI suite, and it's optimized for single file editing and storytelling rather than mass batch repurposing from an entire channel. If you're building a huge pipeline of clips from many long videos, you'll still be manually creating projects. Vizard complements Descript. Use Descript for deep single episode edits and vocal cleanup, then run the long form master into Vizard to auto extract the best slices and distribute them across platforms. Vizard helps you go from one polished episode to dozens of short posts without a separate project for every clip. Spotter Studio is the next tool, and honestly, it's one of the best brainstorming tools out there for YouTube creators. Link your channel, and it pulls insights about titles, thumbnails, hooks, and what your audience is already watching. It's like having a discovery assistant that shows you which videos in your niche are overperforming and why. I use it to test title variations, thumbnail ideas, and to prioritize what content to make next based on trending topics where it can fall short, it's ideation first. It's not a clipping or scheduling tool. It'll tell you what to make and how to make it clickable, but it won't chop your long videos into optimized shorts for you. That's where you combine Spotter with Vizard, brainstorm titles and hooks with Spotter, then feed the long form footage into Vizard to automatically generate optimized clips based on those hooks and schedule them right from the same calendar that keeps everything organized. Let's talk voice, 11 Labs. If you need human-like text to speech, dubbing or multi-voice narration, 11 Labs is hard to beat. The voices are natural, emotive, and they've got options for dubbing your videos into other languages with surprisingly good timing. I've used it for different language channels and voiceovers when I don't want to record 10 different versions myself. Limitations. A lot of creators still prefer a real human voice or want subtle inflection that only comes from someone who knows the content intimately. Also, as powerful as Eleven Labs is, it's just the audio piece. You still need a system to turn that audio into a finished clip. Vizard doesn't replace high-end synthetic voices, but it plays nicely with them. You can add Eleven Labs audio to clips that Vizard generates, for example, if you want to create alternate narration versions of a highlight clip and then have Vizard push them out on a schedule. So Eleven Labs covers voice, Vizard covers the distribution pipeline. Pictory is a pretty impressive text-to-video platform. Paste a script and it builds a scene-by-scene -scene video, complete with voiceovers, captions, and suggested imagery. It's a great way to create explainer videos from a script quickly. Uh, I like using it for repurposing blog posts or turning scripted ideas into visuals without having to film everything. The caveat, the visuals are stock first and the human in the video feel can be hit or miss. If your brand relies on authenticity, your face, your reactions, your real footage, Pictory's generated scenes can feel generic. That's another spot where Vizard shines. Vizard works with your actual long form footage and finds the moments that feel real, candid, or viral ready, then formats them for vertical platforms. So use Pictory when the concept is script driven and stock visuals are okay. Use Vizard when you wanna leverage your real content and scale it out across socials. Audio quality matters more than most creators assume. That's why Adobe Podcast is in my toolkit. Drop in rough audio and it'll enhance it to sound much closer to studio quality. If you're recording on a phone or a basic mic, this tool will quickly clean things up so your voice sounds crisp and clear. Again, it's a single problem solver. Adobe Podcast makes bad audio sound good. 
It doesn't find the viral 12 second clip in your live stream or queue up a week of posts for Instagram. So I use it at the front of the workflow to polish master audio, then send the cleaned files into other tools or into my editing pipeline. Vizard isn't an audio enhancer, but it knows which parts of your cleaned recording are high value clips and it'll organize and output them so you don't waste that newly polished sound on clips that never get posted. Finally, CapCut, the go-to popular editor for many short form creators. CapCut does traditional editing, but it's also packed with AI features, auto captions, stylish caption templates, built-in avatars, and quick templates for trends. If you need to slap together a short fast and make it look on trend with animated captions and emojis, CapCut is super convenient. What it doesn't solve well at scale is, identifying which moments from a long video are likely to go viral, and scheduling hundreds of clips across platforms without manual uploads. CapCut is fantastic for finishing touches and polish. Vizard is the part that finds the gems in the long video and outputs platform-ready clips that you can then pull into CapCut for final creative tweaks, or just post directly if you want speed. Okay, so after using all these tools over the years, where does Vizard fit in my everyday workflow? Think of Vizard as the glue and the autopilot for repurposing. It does three things really well. One, auto-editing viral clips. Vizard scans your long videos and surfaces the parts that are most likely to perform on short platforms. It's not just chopping based on transcript markers. It looks for high engagement moments and contextually strong hooks, so you end up with clips that actually have a shot at trending. Two, auto-schedule. You set the posting frequency and Vizard will queue and publish clips for you. That means you can create once and get consistent automated posting across multiple platforms without manual uploads every day. Three, content calendar. Manage, modify, and publish clips across socials in one place. It's a single pane workflow where you can see what's scheduled, tweak captions, swap clips, or reschedule with a drag and drop calendar. I don't want to pretend Vizard replaces every specialized tool. It doesn't replace Descript for deep transcript-based editing. It doesn't replace 11 Labs for high-end TTS. And it won't replace CapCut if you need specific visual effects or trend templates. But when you're trying to scale content repurposing, turning a single long video into dozens of strategic short posts, Vizard reduces the busy work dramatically. You can still use Ops Clip, Descript, Spotter, Eleven Labs, Pictory, Adobe Podcast, or CapCut at specific stages, but Visard sits at the center, find the best moments, schedule them, and keep your social feeds full without turning every day into a content sprint. So here's the quick takeaway. Use Ops Clip and Visard for clipping, Descript and Adobe Podcast for cleanup, Spotter for ideation, Eleven Labs for voice and dubbing, Pictory for text to video jobs, and CapCut for finishing touches. But if you're trying to go from one long video to a week or a month of shorts, Vizard is the tool that automates the heavy lifting so you can focus on creating more content instead of uploading everything manually. If you're a creator who posts regularly and wants to start automating growth, give these combos a try. Run your master file through an audio enhancer, transcribe, check, edit the main piece where needed, brainstorm a title and hook, then drop the cleaned long form into Vizard and let it do the clip extraction and scheduling. You'll be surprised how much content you can generate from a single session of filming. Catch you in the next video. And if you want, I can walk through my exact Vizard workflow step-by-step -step in another episode.